This is the story of the separable fastener and how it came to be. It all started because I hated doing this to my denture, destroying a beautiful denture. But you had to do it because the temporary cylinders were so tall and you had to create those huge holes just to get access to them. So you end up with something that doesn't resemble the final restoration. And two to three months later, they typically come in like this on a Thursday afternoon wanting something to be repaired. So one solution is these very expensive guided prosthetic approaches, but the occlusal anatomy and occlusion isn't much better than the original. And plus, there are some times when you put all this money and energy and effort and time into these guided prosthetics, but the implants aren't ready to load. Let me introduce you to a patient. We'll, we'll just call her Jane. This is the story of three dentures. The one on the left is what she was given at the time of implant placement because two of her implants didn't torque in enough. And then she was so upset with that, they tried to hurry and make her a second denture, which is in the middle. Finally, she was referred to me because they just couldn't get it right. Here you see why she was upset with her original, her first set of dentures. But really, in profile, you see, it's because the overjet was way too excessive and there was insufficient vertical. And her second set was not much better in inappropriate vertical and the midline was off. So here's a much more appropriate denture that was made for her. The color's better, the midline's better, and the vertical was increased so that she didn't have the excessive overjet. A denture can be a beautiful restoration, and so we need to focus on the denture. If you have a beautiful denture, you can do anything for that denture. And all these patients, what they have in common is that these are the dentures that were then converted to a fixed restoration. So let me show you how we start. We start with a digital setup. I use dental wings. And then from that digital setup, we create an analog denture. That denture is perfect, aesthetically and functionally. And we want to preserve that perfect anatomy and the way it relates to the opposing restoration. Here you see them in occlusion, they're ready to be picked up. Here you can see in the mandibular arch, I start with the flanges already cut off. And with the smart denture conversions approach, you end up with perfect occlusion and very minimally invasive screw axis holes. Because the screw axis holes are so minimal, it actually resembles what you'd expect to see in your final restoration. And you can have a milled denture or a printed denture or a conventionally processed denture. It doesn't matter so long as it resembles the final restoration. You can go ahead and just add your lab analogs and a soft tissue moulage, put it into stone, and then give the laboratory exactly what you expect for them to duplicate in zirconia. This is all made possible by separable fastener technology. It has changed my practice. I no longer destroy my dentures and start over after the osteointegration period. Visit us at smartdentureconversions.com and buy your kit today.